Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm back with another one product wash and go, so if you'd like to see the product that I'm using today, then just keep watching. So before we get started, if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you like what you see, stick around and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. So the product that I'm going to be using today, I'm not going to say the full name of the product because I don't curse on this channel, um, but I will let you guys read it for yourself. And so this is the only product that this brand has. It is their curl defining hair jelly. And so this is supposed to give you the perfect one product wash and go. It's supposed to give you definition, hold, shine. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try this. Uh, this is going to be a first impression. I have never used this before. I just took the seal off of it two seconds ago to film the product close up. So uh, this is definitely going to be a first impression. So we're going to get right into it. I've already washed and conditioned my hair. I didn't do a full deep condition today, um, but I did use one of my more moisturizing uh, She Scented conditioners, rinse out conditioner, and I left it in a little bit longer than I normally would. So. I think my hair is fine as far as a base of moisture. I have a plastic cap on just to keep the moisture in because it does say that you should use this on soaking wet hair. And then I do also, of course, have my spray bottle. So this product comes with 10.5 fluid ounces and it retails for $16.99 on their website. It is only available on their website. The description on the website says, we swear on our curls, this is the best multi-use hair gel for black girl curls in the market. So the instructions say, apply the jelly between your palms and glide product onto freshly washed, detangled, and conditioned hair. For best results, split hair into one inch sections, detangle and apply the jelly to soaking wet curls. Diffuse or sit under a hooded dryer until hair is completely dry. And so some of the claims it says on the product is no flaking, no crunch, lasting results and definition. The ingredients, uh, I'll just read a couple of the first few ingredients are water, glycerin, glycerol polyacrylate, maltodextrin VP copolymer, xanthan gum, some kind of fruit extract, I don't know what that is, lysium barbarum fruit extract, coffee seed extract, um, and a bunch of other fruit extracts. Um, and it does have kind of like a jiggly jello type consistency. It has a nice pleasant fragrance, it's kind of citrusy but with a little hints of like perfumey fragrance. I like it. It's light, but pleasant. But we're gonna go ahead and try it. I'm just seeing if there's any other like tips or key things that they say on their website. It just says it's formulated for the perfect wash and go. Um, they do have a blog on their website. So if you want more tips as far as natural hair goes, they do have that on there. So just kind of setting expectations. I'm looking at the description as far as the, um, on the website there about me section. Um, so it talks a little bit about the founder and kind of why she came up with the brand basically because she had tried a whole bunch of products that were mainstream that just never gave her consistent results for her wash and goes. Um, and so it does say uh, that this is for my girls and boys who need voluminous hair with ultra definition and shine without the annoying flaking and crunch that comes with most gels. Um, and she says, feeling confident wearing a wash and go is something that a lot of us struggle with. I want you to use the product and gain all of the confidence you need to walk out of the door with that bomb a fro and stunt. So it's a really cute concept. I like the idea behind it. Um, a I'm a little bit nervous because it does say that it's going to give you volume, which that's kind of to be expected because it's one product. It's not like a heavy gel. Um, it's a jelly, which is not going to weigh my hair down the way other products would. Um, but I'm interested to see how it's going to turn out. So, and I already have my hair sectioned, so I'm going to actually go ahead and keep it in these sections and I'll start back here. Um, it is still pretty wet, but I am going to re-wet it with some water just to make sure it is soaking wet like they tell you. And I did detangle um, when I conditioned my hair, but we'll see. I do have a brush here if I need to Kind of detangle it a little bit more. It doesn't really specify in the instructions how much you should use. It just says to apply it between your palms. So I'm going to start with a little bit and work my way up. And it says to put it in the palms of your hands and apply it that way. Um, so initially putting it on, I'm going to go into a little bit more. I'm not feeling a ton of slip. 
and I'm not surprised because it doesn't really have um, a lot of ingredients that I would expect would give me slip. Um, and then it does also say to start on detangled hair. So I think I imagine that they know it's not going to have slip and they expect you to have your hair tangle free before you start applying this uh, because it's not going to give you the slip you need to detangle. Um, it's just enough to kind of glide it through my hair, but it's not enough that if I had any knots or tangles that I could work through it. So just keep that in mind. I do like how it's feeling in my hair so far. It feels like it's kind of smoothing the frizz. It's a little like thin in consistency. So I feel like I'm going to have a tendency to be a little bit heavy handed. Not bad so far. I don't know. I may have to shingle just because I don't know how much um, definition it's going to give me. Right, we're gonna keep going so far it's okay not blowing me away just yet but we'll see and I'm kind of doing bigger than one inch sections but it's okay I like the concept of like a one product wash and go but I also already have a lot of volume in my hair so I don't need that extra volume so that's one thing that kind of makes me nervous when it comes to these type of products but if it's something that I can kind of do as like a low-key you know lightweight wash and go just when I'm not looking to have like super super definition or um, crazy hold then this might be a good option so yeah this section was not detangled quite as well. I kind of section my hair differently than I normally do, so <laughs> might be a little weird. Also, if you guys notice a difference in the sound, I did get a new microphone. Let me know what you guys think. Is it better? Do you not notice a difference? Is it like, what are you talking about? No microphone. <laughs> um, is it too much? Like sometimes I know microphones will pick up like too much sound. Um, so then there's a lot of light back on. I guess I'll find out when I'm editing, but let me know what you guys think if you notice the difference and if you like it. I'm trying to kind of step up my game when it comes to my filming equipment, so <laughs> we are trying to get up there. Since we're on the subject of stepping up our my game, <laughs> I am working towards my first 1,000 subscribers, so if you guys like my channel and want to support me, definitely share the video, like, comment, do all the things that YouTubers tell you to do because <laughs> it does help. I know everyone says the same thing, but it does actually help the channel to grow. So definitely appreciate all your support. I'm trying to get up there. So this is definitely giving me the feel and like vibe of like Uncle Funky's daughter, Curly Magic. It definitely has that like feeling. So if you're looking for something that's not quite as expensive, um, obviously we'll see based on the results, but this may be an option. Uh, it's not, uh, you know, $16.99. I feel like that's a reasonable price for 10 ounces, 10 and a half ounces um, of product. That's pretty decent. I don't remember how much shipping was or if I got it during a sale, I honestly don't remember. Um, but that would be the only other thing to keep in mind is like shipping costs might not make it worth it, but the product itself, it seems like a good, you know, decently affordable cost. All right, this is the section done. It's kind of like all the way in the back of my head. So I'm gonna do one more section on camera so that you can see it better. Um, and then I'll probably do the rest of it off camera.
that is that section done. Um, so far, it feels nice going in. Um, it does feel like it's giving me definition. I don't know about the frizz control. Uh, we'll see when it dries, but it doesn't feel like it's giving me that like hold that really gets rid of frizz. So we'll see. Um, I don't know what kind of a hold it's going to give when it's dry, but it is, like I mentioned, it is giving me kind of Uncle Funky's daughter curly magic vibes, which that doesn't give me much hold um, at all. Um, it gives me great definition, but I always have to pair that with another gel. So we'll see if this works as a one and done. Um, right now I'm feeling like it's going to give me great day one hair, but it probably won't last longer than that. So we'll see. I'm not going to pass judgment until it's completely dry. I'm going to go finish my hair, blow dry it, and then I'll come back to show you the final results. All right, so I'm back and these are my final results. Um, so let's talk about how I feel about this wash and go. Um, this is definitely to me more of a wash and fro than a wash and go. Um, volume, they claim to give you a voluminous wash and go and that is definitely what I got. Um, I do have some definition like you can see um, here. My curls are definitely showing but I do feel like there's a lot of frizz. And I think it's again the type of product that this is. I don't think it is a wash and go one and done for my type of hair. Um, maybe for somebody else's it would be but for me particularly I need something that's going to weigh my hair down. And this is, doesn't really do that. Um, it's a cute look if I was going for the kind of fro look. It definitely has movement, which is cute. You know, it's a cute look. Um, but when I'm going for a wash and go, I want definition, I want shine, I want frizz control. And I don't feel like I got that with this particular product. Now, what I do feel like is it did very much act in my hair the way Uncle Funky's daughter does. So I wonder if I could pair this with maybe a mousse or something else, maybe in a, even a leave-in just to put under it to give it a little bit more weight um, to give me that type of wash and go that I like. Um, but this is not bad. It's not bad results. It's just not what I typically expect for my wash and goes. Um, I will say it does have a little bit more, it feels like it has more hold than Curly Magic would. It's not a crunchy hold, but there's definitely a cast. Um, so I do feel like it is going to last a couple days at least, hopefully. Overall, it's, it's a cute product. And would I buy it again? Probably not. Um, just because, again, this is not the type of wash and go that I usually go for. Uh, but yeah, I don't know that it's going to be something that I'm reaching for regularly. It's just not really the type of wash and go that I go for. It's definitely very um, lightweight. It's very bouncy. Um, so if that's the type of wash and go that you like, then this is probably a great product for you. For me, I like my hair weighed down. Um, I may try it for a twist out because it does say that you can use it for a twist out. So maybe that's what's going to be better for me and my hair texture. Um, but if you're the type that likes a lightweight wash and go, if you like to do things like mousse wash and goes, um, you know, cream only wash and goes, then this might be something that you like. Uh, for me, it's a no for me. The one thing I will say I was kind of pleasantly surprised about is that my hair does feel pretty moisturized. Um, so you don't need a leave-in under this. The only reason I would use a leave-in is to provide that extra weight, like I said. Um, I'll have to play around and see if this even plays nicely with any of the leave-ins that I have um, and see if I can get kind of the type of wash and go that I typically like. Um, but it seems like it's much like Uncle Funky's Daughter. It's meant to be used kind of as on its own or as like a base product. So it may not work well with a leave-in. I don't know, I'll experiment with it, but yeah, those are my thoughts on this curl defining hair jelly. Uh, let me know if you guys have tried this product or if you've even heard of this brand. Um, I discovered them on Instagram was where I saw them. And so I tried them out, you know, the way I am always roped into trying new products <laughs> um, that I don't need. But I think it's a good brand to support if this is the type of product that you're into, this type of look that you go for with your wash and goes. Um, definitely worth the try. It's fairly affordable and it has pretty decent ingredients so I'd say if it's something that you want to try it doesn't hurt to try just because I'm not a huge fan of my results it doesn't mean that you won't like it so I'd say go for it. This is definitely not my worst wash and go ever it's just not my favorite. That is it those are my thoughts on this product definitely let me know what you thought in the comments below and again if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to share it to help grow my channel it really helps me a lot and i appreciate each and every one of you so that's all i have for today until next time i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.